Hello everyone, it's day two of 30 day challenge and I'm really excited. So welcome back to Cracksoid and in today's video, I'm going to show you all about the newest Pixel OS. This ROM is all about clean stock Android 5. So I'll walk you through its features, explore the customizations and break down how everything works for a smooth user experience. And don't forget, this is our second video of 30 day challenge. So let's start without any delay. Take a look. This is the newest Pixel OS dropped on August 18, 2023. Complete with the freshest Android security update from August 5, 2023. Plus, it's built on Android 13, rolling with the Quicksilver kernel. Let's dig into what else it brings to the table. User experience. All right, let's kick things off by talking about how this ROM feels to use. Now, I have got to say this ROM isn't loaded with tons of fancy customizations or extra features, but you know what? That's actually a good thing. It means you are in for a seriously smooth, buttery experience. Swiping, opening apps, it's all so slick. You'll definitely notice and appreciate the overall smoothness of this ROM. Oh, and by the way, no glitches or hiccups when you're using the quick setting panel either. Long story short, the user experience here is a winner and I promise you won't be let down. Change locks. So let's now dig into the big changes that come with this version of Pixel OS. Starting off with the source change logs, they've gone ahead and merged in those latest August security patches that I showed you earlier. And hey, they've even thrown in some love for Apple AirPods, making them play nice with this build. But that's not all, they have tackled that pesky battery drain issue caused by the Pixel Launcher and Android System Intelligence. Now looking at the device change logs, good news, they have fixed that glitch where using the backtap feature would give the system UI a little hiccup. That's a relief, right? Oh, and speaking of relief, they have waved goodbye to that invisible font problem on Facebook Marketplace. And there's more, they have tinkered with the CPU input boost settings to give you a performance boost too. So these are the major updates that come with this version of Pixel OS. You will find the full list of changes on your screen, but I have given you a sneak peek into the highlights. Unlimited photos and video stories. Here's the really cool part with custom rooms like Pixel OS. You can actually get something you have probably always wanted. Unlimited stories for your photos and videos. Imagine not having to worry about space or spending money on stories. That's the magic Pixel OS brings. Once it's on your device, you are free to upload as many photos and videos as you want on Google Photos without any storage concerns or needing to buy extra space. Isn't that just awesome? It's like having your own special place to keep all your memories without any worry. Pixel Launcher now let's talk about the Pixel Launcher, a star feature of Pixel OS. You know the Pixel Launcher is that familiar app you see on Google's own Pixel smartphones. It's the one responsible for how your home screen looks and how you find your apps. Now when you jump into its Launcher home setting, don't expect an overload of customization like in other custom rooms. You will still find some cool options like notification dots, at a glance info and helpful suggestions. Oh, and don't miss the recent settings. Want to take a screenshot? Just head there. Want to clear all your recent apps? Swipe left all the way. And you'll find that magic clear all task options waiting for you. It's all about those little convenient touches. Wallpaper and styles. Now let's step into the world of wallpapers and styles. Take a peek, they have shaken things up a bit. The wallpaper and color sections has a new look and feel and you've got a separate spot to dive into it. Those basic colors you knew, they have got fresh lineup now and it's no longer the same old. To be honest, I didn't catch when this switch happened but here we are with all these updates now. And guess what? There's more to explore in the wallpapers and style section. You've got options for themed icons and app grids. Now, I know these options aren't overflowing, but we kind of expected that. Pixel OS aims to keep it simple, just like stock Android. But here's where things get interesting. New wallpapers. 
I haven't seen anything like it before. You've got these emoji wallpapers and alive wallpapers too. Those alive wallpapers let you pick from a set of limited choices which is cool. But let's talk about the emoji wallpapers. Now that's something. You can choose from a bunch of emojis to be your wallpaper. And here's the kicker. You can even pick the background color for your emoji wallpaper. It's like your own custom creation. I can't say when this feature came out but I'm telling you it's pretty darn awesome. Camera. So now let's check out what camera action Pixel OS brings to the table. And guess what? It's none other than the MIUI camera packed with all those familiar features you'd expect from MIUI. They have even got the primary 48 megapixel sensor in the mix. So when it comes to snapping photos, this ROM won't leave you hanging. You are in for a treat. Quick settings. Now let's check out the quick settings and what it brings. No glitches here. Everything runs super smooth and guess what? They have added a bunch of tiles so you can switch things up real quick without digging into the main settings. There are some really handy tiles hanging around. Stuff like the calculator tile, the auto brightness tile, compass and even a QR code scanner tile. Plus they have got separate tiles for Wi-Fi, internet and mobile data. Pretty handy right? Settings. Now let's peek inside the settings sections and see what Pixel OS has got in store. First up, the network and internet setting. This is where some of my personal favorites hang out. There's the private DNA setting, the network traffic indicator, and the adaptive connectivity feature. When it comes to private DNS, here's the scoop. You won't find a menu for picking custom DNS providers. Nope, you will have to type it in manually. But hey, this wasn't a big surprise considering Pixel OS isn't all about overwhelming customizations and features. Moving on to the network traffic indicator, here's the deal. You can only hide it when it's not doing its thing. That's the scoop. Battery settings. Let's dive into the battery settings available in this room. Here you are in for some battery boosting options that can really amp up your performance. You've got the battery uses details which give you the lowdown on how your apps are gobbling up juice, both when they are active and even in the background. Now there's the battery saver option too and guess what, there's an extreme battery saver mode, a total lifesaver when your battery is running on fumes. But wait, there's more. The cherry on top for me is the battery percentage option. It's right there in the battery setting, not hidden away in some other menu. Trust me, that's a big relief, no more hunting around. Oh, and there's a nifty new addition, the battery widget. It's something I haven't seen in a while. You can slap this widget on your home screen and it will show you the current battery percentage in a neat little widget. Overall, the battery performance on this ROM is pretty good, but hey, if you are curious for a deeper comparison between Pixel OS, Pixel Experience and Pixel Extended ROM, check out my video in the description section below. Display settings. Now let's head into the display setting where you'll uncover a bunch of settings all about how your screen looks and feels. And when you dip into the dark theme, you'll spot something cool. The use black theme option. It's what everyone's been asking for and it's right here, standing out among other custom themes. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll reach the end where you'll find the tap to wake and tap to sleep options. Now take note, the tap to sleep is all about tapping on the status bar, not anywhere on the home screen. So that's how it rolls in this room. Security. Now let's head over to the security settings. This is where all the important safeguards are set up, including screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. It's all about keeping your device safe and sound. Privacy settings. In Pixel OS, your privacy is in your hands. The privacy settings give you full control over your phone's privacy. You've got some nifty options here like disabling the camera and microphone when they are not needed. This way, no app, site or anything else can sneak into your camera or microphone without your permission. And here's a cool twist. You can turn off that so password feature. You know the one that briefly shows your password when you type it? 
it's a little extra layer of security that you might not find on stock rooms now in this privacy settings there's this ignore windows secure flags option what it does is it loosens up the restrictions on taking screenshots and screen recording for sensitive apps like banking or streaming apps but here's the deal while it's handy it could also lead to privacy leaks so use this with caution your privacy is a big deal after all system settings now let's step into the system setting where the magic happens from here you can dive into feature settings and there's a cool one waiting for you you can easily fire up the camera by simply double pressing the power button no matter where you are anytime it's that convenient and here's something neat you can light up the torch by long pressing the power button but there's a catch this trick only works when your screen is off in lock screen mode and hey, don't miss the game changer, the swipe to screenshot option. It's right here waiting for you. If you are a fan of this feature like most of us are, just enable it from here and you are good to go. It's all about making your experience smoother and more tailored to you. System updater and Sami parts. Guess what? Pixel OS has got something more up its sleeve. You've got the system updater, a one-stop shop to check if there's any fresh update in town. So keeping your device updated is as easy as pie. And here's a gem. At the end of the system setting, you will find the Xiaomi parts option. It's a nod to the good old MIUI days. Now let's talk features. Brace yourself for this. You have got the MI sound enhancer, clear speaker, display color calibration, LCD features, and even ambient display gestures not to forget the vibe control with vibration strength and there you have it that's the lowdown on the latest pixel OS cruising on android 13. here's the deal i have really enjoyed my time with this room it's got all the basics down pat ticking the boxes for what i need on phone from the smooth operation to the optimized performance this room has truly impressed me and let's not forget the MIUI camera is a sweet bonus and that unlimited photo storage, that's the cherry on the top. But the real icing on the cake, it's stability. Not a single bug has crossed my path so far, making me like this room even more. If you're up for a stable, silky smooth room that might be light on customizations but heavy on optimization and battery life, Pixel OS is the way to go. Give it a shot on your phone, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracksway YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.